G'day and welcome to My Life, My Story. I'm Brian Pickering. Now, all of us at some stage or other have felt a little bit creative and there's a great little uh, event that goes on um, here in Harvey Bay where we're currently located called Sip, Paint and Munch Over Brunch. And to tell us all about it is Michelle Valdivia, otherwise known as Shelly, 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 how do I say that? Shelly Seashells. Shelly Seashell. She's, she, you did that so that I can't say it. She sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah. Qué bueno. Y te hablas español también, ¿no? Sí. Pero hace mucho tiempo. Uh, sí, yo nació en Sydney, so yo soy australiana. <laughs> but, um, yeah, my parents were from South America, from Chile. Right. Well, you've got a great Aussie accent, and it's, yes, it's great to meet you here strong. in the Bay. <laughs> um, generation Australian. Okay. Now, the first meeting we had was at a an event that you do. Tell us about the events that you do and why you do them and what happens then. I'll, uh, I'll give people a little bit of an update on my experience. What I do on a weekly basis is do art sessions, and one of the components is a sip and paint session, which is at a local venue or establishment, and you know it's open to all ages and abilities generally because it's a licensed premises so it's mainly catered for adults mm. and adults um, <clears throat> enjoy you know alcoholic beverages along with something to nibble light, light appetizers and have a paint session mm-hmm. so they re- relax you a little yeah, yeah yeah just to relax and you know, have fun and enjoy themselves without mm. feeling apprehensive about working in an art studio or yeah. feel that they're inadequate with yeah. this I uh, don't feel inadequate, but I um, made a point of being a little bit silly with my effort. Everyone around me, there were about seven or eight other ladies, which was fantastic, and I was the only bloke there. But mine was a little bit, it looked like a dog. (laughs) We we were supposed to do a turtle. Yes. Uh, At least I made people laugh. So what sort of got you into this whole artistic thing, and particularly why seashells and uh, aquarium stuff and, you know, ocean? Well, residing by the local seaside suburb of Harvey Bay, I'm obviously surrounded and inspired by the local scenery, the marine life, and, you know, we have distinct features, landscape features, Mm. such as riverheads. So riverheads, if you take a journey, like a drive out that way, you'll see that it's quite different to landscape. You know, I think it's quite beautiful, and I would... I generally incorporate a lot of the native flora and fauna into my artworks. Mm. Art is is such a, a, well, it's a creative thing, obviously, but it's such an outlet for emotions as well. It can be very dramatic or it can be a lot of fun. Yes. You obviously like that. Or it could be also soothing. So soothing soothing. to the soul. It can be dramatic. It can be intense because it can bring out a lot of those emotions. So a lot of the people that come generally have a wide background in different emotional and living life experiences. Experiences. So um, they get to relax and feel that they can just be without any pressure to conform or to like work in a structured environment. Mm. They just get to, you know, free flow with their art mm. and creativity. I think a lot of people, myself included, didn't realise, I guess, how creative we can be. I mean, my wife, Kay, did a beautiful job, I thought, and I was actually very surprised. I think she was even more surprised at how well it came out. What we had to do in a nutshell was copy a, a turtle that you had already painted and done. It was beautiful. And we had to copy that. As I said, my effort wasn't the best, but uh, it was a bit of fun doing it. But what I did particularly like was the fact that you don't tell everyone what to do. You, you give them guidance yes. and you say, look, try this, try that. Yes. Uh, and, and you're very kind about uh, <laughs> efforts such as mine. Yeah, because I don't want to change people's like the gesture. So yeah. the way you are applying that paint onto canvas, I don't want to change that style. It's your unique style. Um, you know, there are a time and a place, like in, a, in an art studio or my weekly art sessions, or if I have private tutorials, if mm. someone wants to have more instructions and learn, you know, the technical side of drawing and the elements of painting. But in a paint sip and paint session, or if it's an art for fun session, which I hold regularly as well. That's just a, a very carefree, open to all abilities and ages. So, again, that unstructured environment. So the people feel very comfortable and relaxed. That's mm-hmm. the key. The rest just naturally follows. So mm-hmm. I'll give you a little bit of guidance. I explain how to blend and apply the paint. But apart from that, um, it's in your hands yeah, to create exactly. that. Well, it, it's also it's it's the fun aspect One, of it. Three. And then what happens is a lot of people, yeah. because they had that first right. experience, they were really comfortable. They felt that it was a fun and they created something as well within those few hours that they tend to come back the next 
next time. Oh, we'll yeah. be back. We'll be so back. there's repeat yeah. quite regular, like a no, lot of regulars. We'll be back, and uh, I've noticed there's a couple of other animals that I'd like to draw. The landscape ones I thought were really, really nice, and I'd yeah. like to give those so a go. I alternate like uh, with the paintings. They sometimes seascapes, landscapes, or animals. And it's all beautiful around here on the Fraser Coast in Queensland. Yeah, you so can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Living in paradise. Hey. For a slice of paradise, come to the sip and paint session. Here we go. <laughs> well, look, thank you for joining us on My Life, My Story, which is your life, your story. Yes. So definitely. thank you, Shelley. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, Brian. Brian told me so. Uh, Remember Brian Henderson? Yeah.